Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Just a quick update video for you today. Uh, it's going to be about my Mavic Mini and crashing it in the previous video. If you haven't checked that video out, I'll leave a link at the end of the video uh, so you guys can go check that out. I talked about a lot of the drone regulations in Canada and flying uh, drones that are bigger than the Mavic Mini in Canada and the rules around them and getting your drone pilot certificate. In this video, I want to talk about the process I've been going through to get my drone fixed. Okay, in this video, I want to talk about the DJI Care Refresh program. That's kind of like their no questions asked replacement warranty that you can get when you buy your drone directly from them, which I did get when I bought my DJI Mavic Mini. Uh, I, I used the DJI Store app on the phone uh, to buy that drone and I got the DJI Care Refresh at the time that I bought it. It was 40 bucks, which is 10% of the cost of the drone. And basically they say it's uh, no hassle, no questions asked. As long as you can prove you bought the drone and the Care Refresh, you send it back to them if it breaks for any reason, even if it gets water damaged. So say you drop it in the lake uh, or crash it in a river, if you can retrieve it and send it back to them, uh, they will fix it and or send you back a new one and so that was 40 bucks for the first year I'm not sure if it's renewable I'll uh, I'll leave some info here about that in any case uh, I live in Canada and I tried to use the DJI store app to initiate my DJI care refresh service and I was running into some errors uh, the app basically said the service was unavailable for me so what I did was I sent DJI support an email uh, telling them this I was like hey I live in Canada uh, your app's not letting me uh, apply for DJI Care Refresh service. And it, this was a Saturday when this happened and I got an auto response email from them saying our DJI service centers only open Monday to Friday. So I didn't expect to get an email back until Monday. Uh, so I didn't check my email until Monday. Uh, they did email me back on Sunday morning though. And they basically just asked for a little bit of basic information uh, my name and address information, purchase order number from when I originally bought my Mavic Mini. They asked for the DJI Care Refresh uh, code that I got when I purchased that additional warranty service. And then uh, a couple of back and forth emails, they got something mixed up about my address. And by the time probably their, their third email back to me, they sent me a UPS shipping label so I could send the drone to them in the United States, in California, to get the drone fixed and returned to me in Canada. So they do uh, stand up to their um, shipping both ways. You just need to be able to uh, drop it off at a UPS location. We don't have UPS in Lillooet, so I had to go to Kamloops to drop it off, but I needed to go to Kamloops anyways. Nice drive, a couple hours. Spend the day in Kamloops, do some shopping, stuff like that. So yeah, I dropped that off on Friday. It's now Thursday and uh, it just arrived. I checked my emails today and uh, UPS sent me an update saying that the package was delivered today to uh, California. Now moving forward, DJI says they'll be a week to two weeks from the time that they receive it in their depot before I think it's before they get back to me. So this will probably be, there's probably a, a queue of, of broken drones and products that they need to work on ahead of mine. So once they get to that, they'll send me an email back. Hey, it's fixable. Hey, it's not fixable. I don't know what the deal is there, but uh, I'm sure I'm gonna find out. Um, and then after that, it's just a broken wing. So I'm sure that's not gonna be a big problem for, for them to deal with. And then they'll be sending me a drone back and I'll be back up in the air. And finally, I can do another Sunday drive video. I don't know how much you guys like those videos. They don't seem to get a lot of views, but uh, hopefully with the Mavic Mini, I should be able to get some better footage and diversify the way the videos are made, make them a little more cinematic. I, I know that's kind of the feel I, I've been going for with them already, but uh, the Mavic Mini, I should be able to get some better shots. Maybe put the passenger in control of the drone, do some follow shots or Maybe try out some of those automatic shots that come built in. In any case, guys, that was just a quick update video. I should be getting back to doing another regular video here soon. Um, if you like the video, smash that like button. If you didn't, you know what to do. Hit subscribe if you're new around here. Uh, hit that bell notification icon if you want to be updated when I post new videos. And until next time, have a good one.